Today I want to start out with a personal story because it really has everything to do with the topic that we're going to be covering today. I had a lot of mental health problems all growing up and I had a the symptoms of a personality disorder uh, called borderline personality disorder, and it was causing me a lot of problems. I'd seen a lot of different talk therapists starting at the age of six, uh, but nothing seemed to really be helping, uh, not anything in a really big way. Uh, at age 25, I was diagnosed with an autoimmune disorder, and my doctors couldn't tell me what it was. And this was really puzzling because they did a bunch of tests. I saw different specialists. They even put me under to have a biopsy done on my gut and stomach lining. And they're like, well, we just don't know what it is. You know, it, it could be a con connective joint disorder. It could be lupus. You know, they, they had no idea because I was showing markers for several different autoimmune conditions and they weren't able to tell me which one. So this was really frustrating because I was really sick in all of these different ways and had been struggling since I was a small child and I just didn't know like what was going on. So I decided to take matters into my own hands and I heard about the paleo diet being really good for autoimmune conditions and my doctor was even like, well, you can try the diet. We don't know if it's gonna help, but you know, go for it. So I, I did that. I started exercising two to three times a week. I made my sleep my number one priority and I made sure I was getting at least eight hours. I was actually going for nine hours a day because I was just so sleep deprived up until that point with a lot of insomnia. And I started doing a lot of different mental health techniques uh, mental health therapy techniques on myself because at this point I had been through grad school I had been working with a lot of different clients who had also been really traumatized um, as children and so I was like okay like I can be my own therapist and within a few weeks I started getting a lot better and within a few months I started getting even better and I was like what is happening here what is happening so that's what I'm going to be talking about in today's show. So welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. I am Jessica Disbro. I'm a licensed social worker and registered psychotherapist here in the state of Colorado. I'm also the founder and primary therapist of Higher Consciousness Healing. We're an innovative mental health practice in Lakewood, Colorado, offering things like community building, free online education, individual and group therapy services. We're also specializing with uh, the millennial generation. So if you want to know more about our practice, definitely check us out on the web at www.higherconsciousnesshealing.org. Right now you're watching our live video blog, which airs every Saturday at 10 a.m. Mountain Time. And we're actually airing this show a little bit early because I'm going to be at a workshop on this Saturday. So um, I'm airing this on my personal channel and then it will air on my business page on Saturday. So just to make a clarification, the questions and comments hopefully will be coming from live audience participants um, that it was shot early. So Awesome. So let's get started. Last week, we talked about meditation, the what, the why, and the how. And if you have been meditating and doing some of this mindfulness work and starting to really pay attention to what's going inside your head, you may have been wondering, what's going on? Why are these things happening to me? You know, if you're suffering from brain fog or just a lot of like rapid thinking, a lot of negative stuff up there. There's actually something that's really important, which the mental health profession and industry really isn't talking a lot about until now, which is how your gut health is so directly related to your mental health in a really, really, really big way. So before I start talking about this, I do want to mention that all kinds of resistance is maybe going to come up while you're watching this show. 
And what resistance is, is it's our resistance to change. Now, I believe this is a really basic survival mechanism because when we have survived for so long in a certain way, we're like, well, that works. I'm still alive, so that's my proof that this is working, and so I don't really need to change. However, we are really adaptable species, and when things are really, when we're really under pressure and we're really being forced to change, amazing things can happen because our brain is really neuroplastic and it has the ability to change. They're even sh so showing that our genetics have the ability to change. So this is like a whole new world of where we came from, where we thought that the brain was really stagnant and once you reach a certain age, there it just wasn't going to change. So a lot of these different mental health issues, a lot of these different brain disorders I'm gonna be speaking about People thought for a long time that there's just nothing you can do. We just need to prescribe some medication and maybe therapy may or may not work. We don't know. So there's a doctor out there right now, uh, Dr. Mark Hyman, who created a documentary series called Broken Brain, and he's really tackling this stuff head on, which I'm super excited about. He's un been on the New York Times bestseller list 10 times and he's a practicing doctor so he's brought a bunch of different professionals together to create this really amazing series so I'm kind of giving you the synopsis of some of this and I'll also make sure to share the resource with you as well now a lot of this information I've known from my own personal experience and other books that I've read and what other doctors have said so he really is linking it all together in a beautiful way which I appreciate so he claims that the following mental health disorders and brain disorders can be remedied uh, by making some dietary and lifestyle changes. And it's pretty amazing. So what are these different mental health disorders and brain disorders that people are suffering from that he's found this connection with? I'm going to list them all. <laughs> Take a deep breath with me because there's quite a few on here and some of these we've been wondering like what is happening with these certain disorders and where are they coming from? They're coming from our gut. All right. Anxiety. Brain fog. Issues focusing and concentrating. Depression. Bipolar disorder. Personality disorders. Addictions. Obsessive compulsive disorder attention deficit disorder, autism, Asperger's, learning disabilities, dyslexia, schizophrenia, Alzheimer's, dementia, and Parkinson's. That's a pretty astounding list. Just let that sink in for a minute. So what is happening and why are we so sick? Because this is affecting about one in four Americans, one of these different mental health or brain disorders. And what is really happening? Like, why is this happening and why is it happening now? Well, as far as America goes, most of us are on the standard American diet, what some are referring to as the sad diet or the modern American diet, the mad diet. Because that's what these, this diet is really doing to our brain and body. They're finding out that our gut actually sends 400 times the signals to our brain than our brain does to the rest of our body. So they're calling it the second brain, our gut. Just really amazing. So a lot of what we've known about ourselves and nutrition is just not true, uh, unfortunately. So having a carb and sugar-based diet that we're really addicted to, as we're getting those dopamine responses when we're having that sugar, when we're having the, that processed food, and we're becoming more and more addicted to it. Other things that are a factor are toxins in our food, such as pesticides, toxins in our water, toxins in our environment. 
things like our, the cell phone that you may be watching uh, my show from is emitting blue light that's causing all sorts of chaos in the brain. Lack of proper self-care, such as exercise, getting enough sleep, all those basic things. And on top of this, a really stressful living environment that has a lot of demands because of how our money system works and how our economy is set up right now. So this is all like just, it's a lot, you know, and so that's what's happening. And now we have to ask, why is this happening? What, why is this happening in the first place? Well, traditional Western medicine is really taking the wrong approach to our mental health, these different brain disorders, and our overall wellness. They're asking, what is it? It's all about giving it a name and blaming the disorder that is being named and then taming it with some sort of prescription. So Western medicine's really putting a Band-Aid on something that needs stitches and really needs a different approach. It's also compartmentalizing the body. So my story, where I went to see several different specialists, none of whom could tell me what was going on, we've broken up medicine in that way when really we need a holistic approach. So Western medicine just overall is giving some really bad nutritional advice. And it's because, I really hate to say it, but this is what's happening. It's because of big companies' influence in our government and our healthcare system. Companies like General Mills. So it's unfortunately goes back to the money and not actually making people well. And the pharmaceutical industry is a part of all of that. So that's kind of a lot to take in. Some of you in the audience may have already heard some of these things. Some of you, this might be really new to you. And again, kind of dealing with our own resistance around not wanting to make changes because when we're talking about this stuff, it's like, well, you're giving me a lot of information and that means that I'm going to have to do a lot of things in every moment, every day. And I've been there, I've done those changes, and I can tell you they've been life-changing. So let's look at functional medicine. Has anybody heard of it in the audience? I'm really curious for you all watching at home if you all have heard about functional medicine. Well, they are taking a holistic approach because they are really seeing the whole body and brain as being all connected and functioning as one entity. So it's really about the body, the brain, and the psyche all functioning together. They're asking, why is it? Not what is it, why is it happening to you specifically? And seeing people as a really unique individual who has its own individual needs and factors. It's really important. They're really addressing the root cause instead of just throwing a Band-Aid over it with some kind of prescription that's probably not going to serve you that well in the long run. So their approach is acknowledging that our body heals itself when it gets what it needs. So getting the right food. I'm, perhaps you've heard the term food is medicine. Getting the right food, getting the right nutrients, taking immune boosting herbs, things like that can really allow our body to heal. A really great example of that, and it's a sore subject, I know, but I want to bring it up because I think it's important to acknowledge. Uh, but before I do, I definitely want you all in the audience to be critical consumers of any information that you're getting from anybody. So think about this, see if it resonates with you, all that jazz. So a really great example of our body being able to heal itself is actually with cancer. So our body goes around and eliminates free radicals when we get what we need, and those free radicals eventually turn into cancer. So what's happening here? Well, we're living in a really toxic environment, so we're having a lot of free radicals hopping around in our body. We're also not getting the things that we need. And that's developing into this huge epidemic called cancer. 
the worst part is, is that sugar actually feeds cancer. It does. So that's also really sad. So some studies have even shown that chemotherapy only works 2% of the time. So it kind of goes back to that whole, like, what is Western medicine doing? It doesn't really seem that effective. And there's other studies that show higher rates, of course, but that's one of the lowest ones and gets thrown there a lot. And uh, they've even done studies that take meditation and see how effective meditation is in treating cancer. And those rates are obviously higher than 2%. So, yeah. So again, do your own research, be a critical consumer, but the, the facts are not, not really looking good for Western medicine. But the good news is, is that you have the power to heal yourself because your body's already been doing it in all of these different ways that are really, really good. So when we give our body what it needs, it will take care of the rest, which is amazing, amazing. So... What can we do about all of this information? Well, that's what I'm going to be talking about in my episode next week, where I'm going to be addressing changes in diet and lifestyle and things we can start doing now. I also really highly recommend that if you are suffering from some kind of medical issue, like I'm not a medical professional, I really would advise you to seek out a functional medicine doctor. Uh, someone who's really taking that holistic approach to really address your individual needs. I'm just here trying to present some really quality information, so the rest is on you. All right, so if you have any questions, now would be the time because I'm going to be wrapping up the show. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Again, that resistance really comes in, and we like don't want to hear these things, and people will literally tune it out. Like there's a lot of people who don't watch my show because they're not ready to hear the information and really implement it into their lives. And that's fine. So I commend you for watching the show, sticking it out, thinking about how you can help yourself heal in a lot of different ways. So if you like our show, please like, comment, and share on social media. Super important. If you're interested in watching past episodes, they're all available for free on YouTube. And if you're in the local area and you're really interested in the work that we're doing at Higher Consciousness Healing, check out our website. You can give me a call. Uh, I'd love to have a free phone consultation with you and see if my services match your needs. That would be really great. And I'm also offering a group therapy for millennials who want to change the world. So we're doing a 12-week group program for inspired millennials who really are looking to do that deeper work on themselves to really get in alignment so they can do that work with their community and the world at large. Because there's a lot of things going on and a lot of problems and getting aligned in ourselves and healing ourselves first is really key. So I don't see any questions, so I'm going to wrap up the show. Uh, thank you so much for the comments. Um, you know, it just says the good news is that these conditions can get well, and that's just so important. That is a really good news. With the proper changes, we can heal and be at our best and just be really living our dreams, and that's what I want for everyone. All right. Thank you so much for watching the show. Take care, everyone.